Hey Hopscotchers, today we're going to learn how to make a simple website. So most of the websites you see on the interwebs have a basic format where there's a header, some page buttons, and then the content of each page. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let's start by making a header. So go to your objects menu, which is that gray plus button, and let's pull out a text object. And let's make this the title of our website. So for me, I'm going to make my website about those things on a giraffe's head. So obviously, you don't have to make the same title as me. In fact, the funnest part of making websites is probably getting to decide what they're about. So be creative. So if you want to make your title bigger, all you have to do is add a new rule when the play button is tapped, which just means when the project starts. And then size is under looks and sounds, which is the green tab. So for size, find set size. 100 is normal size. Any lower than that is smaller. Any bigger than that is bigger. Let's make ours 120. See what that looks like. Cool. OK, good enough for me. Let's add a background color. Get out of here by pressing Edit. Get out of this rule. And let's grab an object. I'm going to grab a text object. And this is going to paint all the colors in our website. And I'm not going to name it anything. And that way, it'll stay invisible. So add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, the first thing I want to do is make the entire screen some color. So uh, go to drawing, which is purple, and pull out a leave a trail. And let's have the background be yellow. You can make it whatever you want, obviously. And to make an entire screen something, you got to make the width bigger than 3,000, so or just 3,000. And this is going to draw a line. That's, that's what this block does. It draws lines. But this line is going to be so thick that it covers everything. And then we don't even need for it to move forward that far. You can just make that one. And it's actually just making a giant dot that covers the screen. So press play. And that's what we've done. OK, so now I want to have like a green stripe along here. So go back to edit. And the first thing we need to do is move this object over to this spot right here, which is x is 0 and y is probably like 550, let's say. So go back here and find set position, which is a red movement block. Pull out set position, make x0, which is the left side of the screen, and make y, let's see if 550 is right. And then we're going to draw that green line. So go to drawing again, drag out, leave a trail, and let's make it green. Or you can make whatever color you want, obviously. Let's make the width 100. And then we'll move forward 1024, which is the length of the screen. And let's see if that worked. That looks good. OK. If you want that line to just be there faster, go back to Edit. Let's add a set speed block above everything else, and then it won't be a slow line drawn. So let's make this speed like 9 trillion. And now it's immediately there. Awesome. So now let's make the content of our website, which is just the text that you'll see right here. So go to edit, and let's get out of here, and let's add a new text object. So here you can write whatever you want. I'm just going to write you know, the first page of my website. So pause here if you need a minute to write some text for your first page. Cool. And then you just center that right there. And let's see what that looks like. All right, we're getting closer. So now let's add some page buttons. So go back to edit. Let's add a new text for each page. So the first page is going to be home. And we're already there. So you're only going to tap this when you're on another page and you want to go back to home. Let's add another one called about, about me. So you don't have to make these the same things I'm making. I'm just showing you that you have different buttons that can lead to different pages. Let's make another one more. OK, so when we tap about me, we want this text to change to whatever I'm going to say about me, or in your case, about you. So you don't have to do anything here, but you do want to make a new rule for this. So add a new rule. And now in the when's menu, tap more and find is tapped. And now look for about me. Great. Press check. And now when you tap on about me, you want the text to change. So go to looks and sounds, which is the green tab, and pull out a set text. And go to the little keyboard here and remove this. And now you can add your next 
bit of text. So I'm going to write my About Me page. As always, pause here if you need a minute to write your text. Cool. OK, great. So let's see if this works. So if I tap About Me, I go here. If I go to Home again, nothing happens, because we need to write a rule so that Home is a button that changes this text back to its original text. So first, tap on this main text until you get to here, and then hold down until you have a Select All open up, and tap Select All, and then copy this. Tap Done. Now let's add a new rule. Now pick Is Tapped and find home, and then press check. And now go to the green looks and sounds tab, drag out a set text, tap on the keyboard, remove all this, and hold down on this text box, and then tap paste. And this is the text we had originally, and press done. So what I've just done with this rule is that when I tap home again, I go back to the original text that this content object was. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm here tap about me, I go there, I tap home, I'm back there again. Okay, so let me teach you one more cool thing. Let's go back to edit. Now, let's have a little like picture in the background. So, go to the plus, and I'm going to find an emoji, and let's pull out a text object. And for this, go to your emoji button, which is to the left of your spacebar. If you don't have emoji, you need to enable it on your keyboard in your iPad's settings. Okay, so let's go into emoji, and there aren't any giraffe emoji, so I'm just going to pick this camel. And now, let's add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, let's make this image way bigger, and then let's fade it a bit, and then let's send it to the back. So these are all green buttons. So go to looks and sounds, and first let's make it bigger by setting size. So drag out a set size, and let's make it like 2,000. I'm making it 2,000 because as an emoji it's already pretty small, and I'll show you what this looks like now. Very big. Cool. Now let's send it to the back, and that's also the green, so green send to back button. Now it's like that, and now let's fade it. So go back to edit and set invisibility to 80. Great. Okay, so let me add one more rule. Now go to edit and get out of here and go back to this content text. And let's add one more rule. Go to is tapped, pick more, press check, and then find set text, which is in looks and sounds. And let's go to the keyboard and I'm just going to say that I acknowledge that that is not a giraffe. Cool. Okay, so let's see what our finished website looks like. Here we are in the front page. Tap About Me, and then we get that. If we tap More, we get that. We can go back to Home. So this is a very simple website, but now you know the basics so that you can make any kind of website you want. And then if you look at the scrolling video, you can learn about a very cool trick where you can scroll up and down. You can keep adding features to your website, I mean, there's really no limit to what you can do with websites. I'm so excited to see what kind of super cool websites you guys make. All right, bye.